Dozens of Roma brides-to-be and their contenders gathered at the annual Bride Fair hosted in Bulgaria's second largest city of Plodiv. For girls in the close-knit clan, the fair, a kind of annual debutante ball, offers the best hope of a stable future, which often means marrying between the ages of 13 and 20 and a life of keeping house and raising children. As Roma or Gypsies, they have few other options in a country where many are relegated to the margins of society. An attitude found across Europe where Roma are the group deemed most vulnerable to racism. If a girl and boy like each other, they will go on a few dates. And then he can approach her family with a dowry. This custom is very old, this way our brides are being sold, so to say. When the young like each other, they go to the parents. The boy offers some money. If we like the boy, we give the girl and he pays. Recently, one of my daughters was asked and they offered 20,000 levs. Here's my daughter. Come here. For the boys, success is about forming a good strategy. You must speak to the bride, take her phone number, speak to her for about two weeks or one month, then get laid. Then if the parents refuse to give the girl away, the groom steals the girl, and that's it. Bulgaria is home to one of the largest populations of the EU's 6 million Roma. And as in other countries, many live on the fringes of society suffer discrimination and struggle to get jobs. The picture is equally bleak across much of Central and Eastern Europe, where the majority of Roma, an ethnic group with origins in India, are concentrated. The EU spends billions of euros on integration projects. In Bulgaria's neighbor Romania, 9 out of 10 live in severe material deprivation, while only a third of Roma boys and even fewer girls will still be in school at age 16, according to a 2014 World Bank study.